What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. EA have finally blessed us with some upgrade packs. I'm yet to pack a future stars. We've gone through again today the Turkish League and the Pro League League SBCs. We're up at almost 100,000 coins. That mostly came from a draft win where I packed uh, Jamie Vardy and Onana. My club is stacked for players. So we should be able to have a lot of fun with these player picks whilst also doing the league SBCs. I've also got the 85 double upgrade pack to start off today's video. So if you guys are enjoying the content, you want to drop a thumbs up, it would be very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, to start with, five player picks. Let's see, can we get our first future stars? We do get a Raul Jimenez. So an 84 to start things off with is not that bad. Another 84 Dave. I don't know where I'm going to put him as a duplicate, but might as well take the 84 there. Another 80. Oh my days. 84s for days. What is happening? Do I start Ribéry? Oh my days. 87 Bernardo Silva as well. Isn't it hilarious that they're all Premier League walkouts? And then last but not least. Come on, future stars. No, that, that's mental. Three 84s and an 87 from uh, from those player picks. Of course, he's, he's untradeable. What have I got to put him in? What could I possibly put him in that I care about? This Bruno card, should I go? For? No, I shouldn't go for him, should I really? Brewster, I definitely don't want. Sabitza, you've got no chance of me caring about. Don't want any of the icons. So unless I start going, unless I, maybe I finish off like that Ronaldo, but I don't, I just don't care about Ronaldo. How long have we got left on Ribéry? 26 days. He's so expensive, isn't he? Do I... I don't want to throw away 10 other high-rated cards with what's currently in the game to save one 84-rated card. I would rather just throw away the one 84-rated card. Um, but we've also got the two 85 pluses, guys. Come on, EA. Obviously, we're going to get a walkout, right? I'm not going to get two 85 pluses. Yes, we are. Not a future stars. It's an inform. Come on, big one. Portugal. No! I already have him. Untradeable. What do I do with that? It's another... Man, if I packed him tradable twice, I'd be delighted. Because that would have been 400k in the bag. But to get him... Icon... Oh, Icon SBC. Could have done the as Pili Willy in there as well, couldn't we? We actually can do. We can start building another icon. No, none of the icons. Well, I've got two icons into my team right now. How long have we got left on the icon stuff? Oh, 11 days. Ah, oh, Trebion. on. All right, let's do, let's do this squad here. The 86. So Cancelo... Him. I know that Cancelo's got the shadow on him. I don't really care if I'm being perfectly honest. I've got about six untradeable shadow chem styles anyway. Oh, Bernardo Silva. Fabinho can go. The Pogba, you guys didn't see, but through the League SBC grind, we packed that Pogba as well, which is quite nice. I might have to get rid of Koulibaly as well. This will be like the most expensive squad done as well. Let's pop Koulibaly in there too. It's, oh man. Our fodder is actually looking very good right now, given the fact that uh, we had next to nothing left post-team of the year. I'm really happy with what we've got now. We only need 65 chemistry for this one, which we've got already. Dave goes in. Godin goes in. Pjanic goes in. That's 85. PK over Pjanic? No. PK that there? No. Don't have an 80. So I'm going to have to put an 88 in. So Koulibaly over Fabinho, that's enough. Can we also now downgrade an 85 for an 84? Yes, and what about an 86 for an 85? No. So that is the maximum threshold right there. Let's pop in those two like that. Pop him back in defense. Hmm. Where are we... Where are we getting one chemistry point from? How? How How can we not have 65 chem with this? 
That's quite sad, actually, isn't it? Surely, surely somewhere we've got one chem point. Swear to God, if any... Oh, there we go. Boom. I'm so good at this. All right. We'll pop that in. That's that squad done. Now we've only got the 285s and the 83, which should be nice and easy to do. And we get to save the Inform Zhao Cancelo. And we get a tradable premium Electron Players Pack, which is quite nice. Let's see what we get out of this. No boards, unfortunately. Come on, give me a West Brom Silver. Give me another 20k in the bag. Not quite. Uh, I don't think these silvers in general are going to be worth anything. But we'll try our best to sell sell them even just for a few coins. Pickford will list up. Maybe it's time now to save all golds, rare and comp. No, or do we keep the do we keep the same mentality up of kind of like selling everything as tradable and just using simply untradables to build the upgrade packs? I think that's what we do. We carry on selling everything as tradable. But not those, because we're doing the uh, Turkish League. Um, so I'm going to build some more packs, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, so five more player picks. Come on, game man. Good fodder, future stars. We need to get our first future stars on this account. Okay, Steve, an 83 is okay. I suppose it can go into the 83 segment for the uh, thing. Ooh, an 84 Tagalifico. We just used him as well, which is nice. So an 83 and an 84 to kick off with. Another 84 for Isco. This is good for the 85-rated segment. The fourth pick, an 85 Tiago, and the fifth pick is an 82 Sergio Asensio. That's not a bad set of five. Three Spanish, but four boards out of the five, an 82 and 83, two 84s and an 85. That's really not that bad. See, this is, this is the weird thing, isn't it? Because I'm sitting here saying to myself, I have to play foot champs. I have to play foot champs, guys. I've got to play foot champs because, because what? Because why? Because of the rewards? It would be better to just play the menus to get better packs or to play for gameplay. All right, if we're playing for gameplay, then I've got to be honest, I don't think... Uh, I don't think um, we'll be playing many games. So we'll see. We'll play until we're not having fun, all right? I think that's what we'll do. As soon as I start getting frustrated like I was last night, that'll be it. We'll just close it down there. Find an interesting team. Pope and goal. St. Maximin and Quadrado base cards still. Red Bernardo Silva, though, so he's a champs player. Come on, oh, Wazah. Not saving that one, pal. Let's go. 1 0. GG's. This guy's a decent player as well. He must be like on a like either a new account or um, maybe he like sold his squad for some reason or another. Oh, Lewa. Wait. Wayne Rooney and Team of the Year Lewandowski have both missed shots against goddamn 82 Pope from a yard or two. I've not even pressed tackle from, from like six yards out. I should be 3 0 up with those chances that I've created. I should be 3 0 up. All right, there we go. Can they find a gap in the defence? Bruno Fernandes. And here's Wayne Rooney. Very comfortable. Ronaldo's there. Oh, that was for Ronaldo. Lewa will take it, though. That's a nice goal. That ball wasn't for Lewandowski. It was for Ronaldo. The host has really controlled possession. And what that does, it just relaxes the team. If you've got the ball, you enjoy the ball. Yeah, you're not saving that one. Let's go. All right, that's game over. That was, that was tough. And sadly, what happens when when I when I switch to five at the back, that's when it becomes like a whole bunch easier because we stop getting hit on those counters because we've got five defenders instead of like two, essentially, with my fullbacks like pushing up. Um, but dominant performance, a good win. So I still don't like, it won't show those uh, those missed chances, but I still, I still don't know how he got a penalty um or uh or that tackle but there you go game game one game one we got so many options for packs um that the rewards are just literally irrelevant for us right um so i think 
yeah, we're just going to play until the gameplay gets the better of us. And, and to, to be fair, it's like that last game was, wasn't a great start, you know, either. Because even though we got a 4-1 rage quit, which is like, you just, like, uh, one of the Road to Glory comments yesterday was the same. Like, how can this guy, like, I, I, maybe he's like a new viewer or whatever. But he's like, how can this guy be complaining even though he's winning? And it's like, man, like, this gameplay is just so unrewarding. So, like, unenjoyable in many, many aspects. That... You can quite easily win games in this game and still not be happy. I have a feeling this guy's going to quit, by the way. I think he's just going to quit. Interesting that he just gave me the, the possession in this area of the field to make his subs. If he did indeed make subs. That's 1-0 Ronaldo. I don't think he did make subs. So he punted the ball out of play. Didn't make any subs. I scored off the back of it. And now he's losing 1-0. Oh, this is... People are weird sometimes, man. They really are. But yeah, one of my aims for this Road to Glory now is going to be getting uh, lower to 1,000 goals, which I haven't done in some FIFAs. I think Thierry Henry was the last person we got to 1,000 goals in FIFA 17, was it, guys? I, don't, if, I, I can't personally remember exactly. We bought him, we played him to 1,000 goals, and then we sold him. Now, that was when I was... Yeah, it must have been FIFA 17. Or whenever the squad battles came in. FIFA 18, because that's when, uh, even though we got a thousand goals with him, I was playing squad battles to top 100 every single week. Then, so, and and the the like, I remember tweeting that I got on reach to a thousand goals, and I saw a few people be like, "Oh yeah, e easy when you play squad battles." And I'm like, actually, <laughs> when you play squad battles against legendary AI, it, it was easier to score against players online than it was to score against the squad battles. Like, you know. Other than rage quits, we would score sometimes seven, eight, nine goals uh, on squad on like online, and quite often we just finished at five five goals on squad battles because of the five goal threshold, and then just trying to keep the clean sheet, you know. And that. That's lovely. That is lovely from Lewandowski. I, I do like that. Oh, Lewa. Is that a pen? He's not taking him out, has he? He's just, like, bumped into him. Go on, De Bruyne, lad. Let's go. 3-0. Come on. We're playing all right here. Is Ronaldo flashback worth it? If you love Ronaldo and just want Ronaldo but can't afford like gold Ronaldo, then yeah. Especially with these player picks now, you you could craft it for like a fraction of the price that it actually costs, um, just by spending the money on these player pick packs instead. And who knows, you might end up packing a Ronaldo or a good uh, future stars or something along the way, right? Um, so I, I I would say like it, it's probably worth it if you desperately want Ronaldo. In terms of like, is it worth it just in the game? I mean, he's good, right? Because it's Ronaldo. He has the custom animations that Ronaldo has. He has the body type that Ronaldo has. He has the five-star skill moves, four-star weak foot that Ronaldo has. Obviously, because he is Ronaldo, right? What on earth is that? That's the few times that's happened to me, trying to cross it. And it's like, butchered it like that. Um, but there's better players out there, for sure. Let's go, Wazart. That's four. Nice bit of elastic dribbling there. Oh, that's a banging. I don't know how Lewandowski's got that ahead of the defender, but that's a banging finish. I would say it's a stream sniper, right? Because 
because he's watching his celebration. He punted it out like straight off the bat, just I think literally just to see if it was me. He's sticking in the game even though he's six one down and getting absolutely battered. I just don't know why that you would stream snipe if you're this bad. Like, you know what I mean? Like, okay, you you're just gonna get smashed. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I, I I don't know. One save for All Black, eight saves for his Gulashi. Crazy. Crazy game. How I only scored six goals, I don't know. That was an absolutely dominant performance. All right, guys, welcome back. I've got five more player picks, and then we're going to do um, the French League, League SBC. Come on. Is this... Ooh, silly. I've done a few. Like, I, I just did the... Um, what League SBC did I just do? I just did the Turkish League again. Um, I didn't... Oh, it's an inform. I already have him, and he's untradeable. I'm actually going to take poor two there. Um, and right, using the um, kind of fodder that I kept getting as duplicates, I built a few upgrade packs. We've actually got a decent amount of... Oh, let me take Fervan there because he's blue. Um, I've actually got a decent amount of um, <clears throat> fodder for, for like the icons. I'm going to wait until I get a duplicate before I actually do anything. Oh, nice. And look at that, guys. Another five packs. An 85, an 84, two 83s and an 82. That is fantastic. One thing that's changed um, today, I, I was just watching Frog stream, and Frog got an icon out of a 5k pack. Now, that is not a regular, right? We packed an icon. We packed Ian Rush. Was it last year or was it the year before? I can't remember. But we packed an icon out of a 5k pack uh, before. Uh, but what was funny, and not funny per se, but what was like noticeable about Frog's 5k pack was the fact that his icon came out as the common card. He also had a Libertadores rare in there as well. And I thought, okay, that 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 is a bit strange. You know, although we've seen icons come out of silver cards before, we've, we've actually seen icons come out of bronze cards before, but I have personally never ever seen an icon come out as a common gold card. A few minutes later, uh, Owen, who, uh, uh, you know, an, an upcoming con content creator that loves to grind the menus uh, just as much as we do, tweeted me that that's the second person today that he's seen pack an icon from a 5k pack as a common card. So I wonder if EA have changed something. Um, just something. So 5k pack method could potentially be even more viable and valuable than it ever has been before. Uh, or, or just 25k packs or basically just anything any pack and that is why i'm happy to keep grinding these uh menus uh we are gonna have uh, the, i mean you would have already seen a few games from foot champs i finished 11 and 2 in foot champs we had a bit of a tough tough one right I went 5 and 0 i then matched up against a guy who was like literally insane and I, I, he, he was a verified um player and he was like a pro player for one of the polish teams um and we lost just 3-1 to him and it was a close game but he he was better than me he deserved the win I then lost another game against a guy who I absolutely battered and just, you know, just one of those games where you just don't really know how you lose kind of thing. And uh, then I went on and got to 11-2. and two. So I only finished Silver 1 this week. I just, I had, uh, I was up with the kids last night and, and just had some stuff going on. So I just didn't have time to finish my games, unfortunately. Um, but thoroughly enjoying playing with uh, with the boys. I tell you, man, Cristiano Ronaldo is just, he's just doing bits. Look at that, 37 and 31 in 35. You just love to see it. Um, and uh, yeah, so... You'll have a couple of... I think there's just two champs games for today, uh, which, which is fine, right? It's, it's uh, no big deal. Um, but I also want to start today clearing out the objectives that offer good value. So I'm going to go and get moments Tonali. Um, I'm going to go and do the future of football because we can do this coupled with the Silver Beasts. Uh, so we'll get a rare mega pack, the 475 rated rare player packs, uh, the four two rare gold player packs, and the rare players pack all from that grind, which will give us more rares to do the 81 plus player pick packs. I'll probably do silver stars, but I might do that on Wednesday afternoon. Like I'm, I'm in no rush for that. And the rest of it, I don't care about because we are so close already to um, Pulisic 1100 coin, sorry, 1100 XP needed, which we'll get whilst doing just some of this stuff. So obviously Tonali is there just until the end of the season, four days left on him. So I need to get Tonali cleared off. I need to get the future of FIFA, sorry, the future of football and the silver beast and the silver stars cleared off. And then I've got some Rivals games that I need to play as well because, as I say, I didn't get quite all of the games in Champs. And I've still got eight games remaining, uh, but I only need um, to get to probably like 
14,000 points will be more than sufficient. And so the fact that we're at 11,200, I need less than 3,000 points. So I'll be guaranteeing myself 1,200 of those 3,000 points just for playing the eight games. As long as we get some goals, maybe a win or even a draw, we'll get to the 14,000 points very, very, very easily. And in fact, let's uh, use our points right now to uh, to redeem the entrance so that we don't forget and we're available to play for next weekend league. But again, team of the week is just not looking great. Um, but with regards to SBCs, what I've been doing personally, um, and you know, for, for each of you guys, I hope you find your own pattern that works well with this. Like maybe you want to use the championship and the MLS and the Syria, or maybe you want to use the um the bundesliga the saudi league and the chinese league i've just opted into three leagues right and those three leagues for me are going to be the pro league the super league and the french league and i've opted into those three leagues just because i like i'll be honest with the super league i like how close it is to get to the players it's just really easy same with the french league um but so i've decided like basically i save every single league sbc card from those three leagues whether it's tradable or not, and I sell everything else. And so with regards to this, I've already got four of the clubs completed. I don't. I think PSG is one of those clubs. Um, but in terms of this whole league, Angers, we've got eight players for. Monaco, we've got six players for. Uh, we've got seven players for those. We've got only three of Bordeaux. For Dijon, we only have two, but I think I might finish those. Then we've got seven from them. We've got Metz, we've only got two as well. Uh, Nantes, we've only got two as well. Lille, three. Montpellier, three. Uh, Nimes, we've got 10, which is nice. Nice, we've got three. Uh, we've got five from Lyon, which I only think you need six as well. Uh, we've obviously got five from uh, from Marseille, but I don't know if I'd uh, use those particular five. And just basically, we've got like a really healthy amount of most of the clubs done. Now, obviously, the gold cards are way more expensive now than they have been before. And so I would anticipate that actually the price of the French League has gone up. And for, probably the price of all the league SPCs has gone up because the price of gold cards have gone up because of the player picks. But that also means that when we pack tradable gold cards, we'll sell them for more as well. So it's a win-win there. So I'm actually going to go and complete this whole league SBC without opening any of the packs. Maybe I'll open the silver player packs. Um, and then I'll be right back when it's finished and we'll have a 100k pack um, to uh, to see if we can pack ourselves our first future stars on this account. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, here we go. The last team to do is Bordeaux. I already had a couple of the uh, expensive teams done. I already had PSG done. I had a couple of the teams that had good um good expensive silvers done which is nice and uh, that now gets us to a reset on the league one so we are going to do no man left behind with the untradeable content here we've got 15 packs of course the 100k pack we're just going to open them in order i don't know which ones are tradable and which ones aren't but anything that's tradable is going to get sold hopefully we get some boards get some coins back I've, i think i spent i think we had about 110 115,000 coins when we started and now we have about 60,000 or something along those lines. I don't care about any of that. Is he going to be a duplicate untradeable? Oh, no, he's tradable. Let's go. Um, so nothing in the first pack for us to uh, deal with there. So, yeah, we're at like 62,000 now. So I spent about 50,000 coins to complete the whole league SBC from where I was. And hopefully we'll be able to make at least 30,000, 40,000 of that back. You know, a board. Hopefully this is tradable. Uh, some informs, maybe some good silvers, some stuff like that. That is going to be... Uh, oh, poor two, the 83 rated. Come on, we just got him from a player pick pack. It's tradable. Let's go. So we're going to send... Oh, I don't have much trade pass space. I'm going to send that up. I'll keep the consumables for now then, instead of selling those. In fact, what I'll do is I'll probably store all tradable players as well and sell them off afterwards. That's 4k back for him. That is a really, really nice... Um, start to the coins. Kadar can go as well. That's a really, really nice uh, nice amount back when he sells. And as I say, there, there's certainly some tradables. I think there was about six or seven tradable packs here. Uh, we're going to get no uh, no boards or walkouts from this pack here. So obviously the 100k pack is where we're really looking to get uh, something good. This is another tradable pack. So as I say, uh, I'll store the tradable cards for now. Um, and then we will... Um, we will list up the untradeable, sorry, the, the tradable duplicates for the time being. Uh, we've got a few mixed players packs as well. So we'll go through the mixed players packs at the moment. Obviously, there's one future stars as a silver. There's five future stars as common golds. We are going to get ourselves a Sudamericana card uh, right there. Ooh, Ivan Perisic and uh, Benega in there as well. And a Nice silver from the French League and a Turkish League silver. So that's really, really nice. A 70 rated guy right there as well is also really, really nice. Rodriguez, 
I said I was going to do No Man Left Behind. I'm not going to. Not for one. Not for one. We'll do it for like, if there's like a group of duplicates, no problem at all. But we're not going to do it for one. Next up, are we going to get anything good out of this pack? Not so far. It's another board. Come on, be tradable pack again. It's going to be uh, center forward, isn't it? It's going to be, um, what's his name? Tadic. Uh, we pack him a whole bunch. It is a tradable pack. That is fantastic. We will sell all of this on, um, which is really nice. I'm, I'm super, super happy with the fact that that's a tradable pack because there's another... I think he's only like 1,500, maybe 2,000 coins. Yeah, not too much. Giroud's probably like uh, almost as much. And uh, McLean might be a nice little bit as well. He's actually not. But um, I don't mind the fact that that is another set of tradable players. We'll be able to get some coins back from that, which is very, very nice. So once... Yeah, I, I reckon we'll be like, like well over 100k again by the time we sell all of the uh, all of the sellable stuff. So no boards or walkouts here. No walkouts yet in general. Uh, this is going to be another tradable pack. That's not bad again. Another pro league uh, player, which we'll keep. Um, this guy probably we should just discard. Yeah, he doesn't sell. He won't sell. And Belfort deal, of course, the common gold right now are going for like seven, eight, nine hundred coins. No question about it. So that's not bad either. As I said, I thought there was a few tradable packs. And I think there's still a fair few more as well. So a good West Brom silver or some just good cards in general. A walkout would be nice. No board out of this one, no blue either. So this might be another tradable pack, uh, in fact. And it is not, but we get Fosu Mensa. We get another Turkish League. We get a fair few Bundesliga players there. Another Turkish League player and Zahavi as a rare gold. Now, we are going to build a player pick pack for a rare gold. Um, I don't mind throwing away common so much because they are not the most important thing. But I do not want to be throwing away rare gold. So let's go club. Let's go uh, acquire date newest. Let's go gold rare. Let's pop Zahavi in. Let's pop Pete Zaro in. Let's pop War Prowse in. I don't mind doing the uh, the Premier League players. Let's pop... Oh, no. Turkish League I'm keeping because we're doing. Uh, let's just go... Let's go to, like... Do we any championship rare golds? We only need two more rare golds. I don't want to do French League, obviously. Uh, we can do... We've got here. Delefeu can go in. And Lazari can go in. And then we just need some commons after that. So gold common... Premier League. Have we got enough? Yes. Oh, ooh, Giroud's tradable. Um, we'll double check that I'm only getting rid of tradable players in general. Because I obviously don't want to lose out on those coins. As, 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 as kind of basic as it might seem, everything that goes has to be untradable. So Pizarro needs to come out. Giroud and Lemina need to come out. And that's it. So Giroud out. Lamina out. And Pizarro needs to come out as well. So we need to get one more rare gold player here. That is untradable. Not from the transfer market. What are we saying? Yeah. Untradable on. Gold rare. I mean we could put Danny Garcia in. Not a problem. And now we just need to get a bit of chemistry on that. It shouldn't be too hard with the amount of uh, same league players we've got going on here. There we go. So that's a player pick pack. We'll save the uh, the gold rare and uh, fortunately managed to save onto our um, onto our other. Oh, it's not bad. It's an 83 rated for it. It's an 81 for an 83. It's not. So it's it's nothing like hugely amazing or anything, but it's not bad. We still got eight more packs to go as well, including the uh, the 100k pack, of course. The small prime gold players pack right here, right now. What are we saying, EA? No walkout, no boards, no blue either. Come on, be tradable. Give me a West Brom silver. Not tradable. Get some a uh, couple more rare golds, which is quite nice. And then Nelson can go. The silvers, of course. There is no point trying to save those guys. Another small prime electron players pack. Come on. Give me another give me just another ball. Give me like a 10k card. Give me an inform or something. Nothing out of this one either. Pretty sure this one should be tradable. We've got a fair few to go. No, it's not. But again, Mexican League silver, not bad. You know, we'll do the Mexican League again probably in a couple of days once we uh, start jacking up the silvers again. Small Electrum players packs coming in now. These aren't too bad. Just one rare, mind you. But oh, it's boards. Come on, be tradable. Be, be an 85 and be tradable. It's going to be... Yeah, it's going to be Tadic again. I pack him so much. It is tradable again, though. Very nice. So we'll store this in the club for now. So that's another 2k back from Tadic. And another 2k from Tadic, of course, in the um, in the club as well. So although it doesn't look like it, doesn't seem like it really, because we're still only at 66k... I certainly think, based on the poor two that's there, all of the tradable players that we're going to be able to sell, 
Oh, boards again. Nice. I certainly think we're going to get up into the... Uh... Oh, this Guerrero, isn't it? Um, I certainly think we're going to get up into the 90k mark. And that is tradable as well. That is phenomenal. That's exactly what we wanted. A nice big 7k back. Um, we've also got this this guy here, the Atletico Madrid guy, who's like another 1,400 coins. That is brilliant as well. And another Atletico Madrid silver as well. That's brilliant as well. You don't mind that at all, do you? And then a Saudi League silver as well, which we will sell, but I'll sell um, in my own time because we are running out of trade pile space again. Locadia can go. MLS commons don't really sell. And uh, Biragi can go as well right there. And uh, that leaves us with an Electron players pack. Look, we're now up to 75k. Now now we're cooking. Now we're looking at being back well over 100k mark again when it gets to um, opening and selling all of the items that we've got. So this is a untradeable pack. We get a Turkish League player out of that, which isn't too bad. Are these players going to be duplicate tradables? No, they are both untradables. So we'll discard those two because they're not rare. So a small gold, a small prime gold, and then a 100k pack before, uh, I, I think... Before what? Before maybe we get into a managerial masterpiece game and, and start playing for Tonali. I think that might be what we're doing here today. Uh, so we get no duplicates here and this is all tradable. So I'll sell all of this. Um, a small prime gold players pack. Let's see what we get from this one. Come on. No walkout. No boards. No blues. Um, so as I say, plenty of tradables thrown into the club today. Non, non tradables, but more for the um, SBC grind. And then, yeah, before we build our managerial masterpiece team for Tonali, guys, the League Un 100k pack, can this be where we get our first future stars? It's a walkout. It's not a future stars. It's not an icon. It's not an inform. It is going to be Han Danovic. You don't... Oh, no, it's not. It's going to be all black. That is phenomenal. That is absolutely brilliant because for crafting whatever SBC comes out... That is amazing. We also get an inform and 283s. Oh, he's a duplicate. I'm going to have to go and do, I think, the next segment of the Icon SBC. Now, Pizarro is tradable, which is nice. I'm going to have to go and do the next segment of the Icon SBC right now. All Black, Paulista, and Willian Jose, we're going to put in. And this is only going to be an 85 rated segment as well because we've already done the 86 rated segment for it. Now, obviously, if EA drop a, a big card um that i would i would want then we're gonna miss out on that but we need an inform an 85 rated squad and 70 chem and you know what we're gonna do that because we have got a good la liga setup and of course popping a 91 rated card into an 85 rated segment is going to uh reduce the cost massively we've also got a whole bunch of our 83s which will get us a good amount of chemistry and then after these 83s are in, we'll see what we need for the inform and for the rating. Uh, now, as I said, I wanted to use um, Gabriel Paulista. And we had one more. Who was it? It was a Brazilian, wasn't it? It was William Jose. So that, guys, is only an 84 rated squad. But of course, uh, we don't have the team of the week yet anyway. And we can uh, most certainly upgrade this squad very, very easily. We only needed 70 chemistry. And we have considerably more than that now. So first of all, let's go and see what kind of inform we've got kicking around. Any any high-rated informs that we might have in the club. Uh, João Cancelo, of course. I got a Susek out of a player pick last night. We've got Romero, Atal, Pellegrini, Debushi. Let's pop in Debushi um, instead of Trippier. And then let's just go and get a high-rated... Or, or, or just a, a bunch of the high-rated uh, golds that we may have. Tiago, Tagliafico, Illis look at that, man. We've got Verratti, a Fabinho, a Neuer, the Mane that we packed. We are we are honestly putting together another really deep club full of uh, full of good cards, which is good to see. So an 84 over an 83 is not enough. Um, an 85 over an 83 is not enough, but does keep good chemistry. An 84 over an 83 again, still not enough. Um, what are we going to do here? 80, it's, it's the 81 that's killing it. It's that William Jose. And you know what? It's stupid to not just put, to, to just throw him away or use him in a player pick pack, right? Let's go down there. We put Thiago in there. That's Oh, that's nice and helpful, actually. What about that? That's really helpful for chemistry. Um, now an 84. Again, we're saying, same with Gabriel Paulista. Maybe it'd be worth 
Yeah, it will be worth it. It'll be worth um, keeping that Gabriel Paulista. So, William Jose and Gabriel Paulista have got to go into a... That's the Oblast that's fine. Um, yeah, William and Gabriel Paulista have got to go into... You know what? They might go into the 83 rated squad. An 82 and an 80. If we popped in 184, that would only... I, do you know what? I could... I'm going to finish off today's video, guys. Finishing this icon SBC. Why not? Let, let, let's let's just let's just complete it. I don't know if we we will be able to get the 85 rated squad done again as well it, because it's lower chemistry and it doesn't require any informs. So let's start with the Premier League. I know I've got a lot of good Prem players. Uh, we do need an inform here. Maybe I don't have a lot of good Prem players. Yeah, I have. There we go. This only has to be an 83 rated squad. So we're going to use that Willian Jose. Um. So let's now go to the uh, Spanish League. We've got to use... Portu can go in. Trippier can go in. Gabriel Paulista can go in. Bonu can go in. William Jose can go in. Now for an 83 rated squad, all we're going to need to do here is put together like an 85 rated... Uh, an 80, probably only an 84 rated player. And that should be uh, sufficient. It's just, I don't know if we're going to get the chemistry, actually. We might struggle a little bit here with that. Pop him over there. Pop him over there. Get Gabriel Paulista down there. Under one up in that spot there. And Gomez over there. Pop Gabriel Jesus over there. That takes us to 66. Um, also takes us to 66. And then that will get us up no more um so let's go and have a look what we need obviously you're going to need a relatively i think probably an 84 would be enough yeah so an 84 is enough an 83 certainly wouldn't be enough i know that for a fact um we just need 80 chemistry and we're at 70 maybe maybe we don't be stupid and we don't waste an 84 for that. And instead, we pop in the two 83s and maybe the 82 that we've got here. Yeah, I, I think, I think no, because I've got an 81. I need to put in the 84. I do need to. The Bravka can go in there. That's not enough. That's enough there, but it's not enough rating. We're struggling again with the chemistry here. That takes us that oh that that's that takes us did that take us down to an eighty three? No, it took us up to an eighty three. So that is perfect for it, except for the chemistry. Need seven. If I go and get myself a different inform, maybe we'll be able to uh, make it a little bit easier. Uh, we need another gold team of the week. What have we got that works? Carson, perhaps. Perhaps. David Carson because of Van der Beek, really. It doesn't it? Doesn't really help. Um, pop him in there. Pop Kovacic in there. Let's get William Jose out. He is causing all of the issues. Um, we still don't have the the full chemistry here or the rating. Let's go and get my other eighty two Premier League players. I know I had a few more. Certainly proving to be a bit more uh, tricky than I thought. The the chemistry is is proving to be the the big tilting spot. But I don't mind it too much because if we put Rodrigo in there. And swap those two around. And then pop. We've, have we got the 84 in right now? No. If we take Trippier out. Oh, I don't want Rodrigo. We don't want Rodrigo. I do want Van der Beek in there. And I want to put in Los Celso there. And I want to put in Berkey down there. That's still not enough. 
Oh, well, that's 8371. Man, this, 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 is, this is just proving really, really, really tricky. If we put Gabriel Jesus back in now, that gives us a little bit of leeway for chemistry. And it's Gundogan. I need to get a defensive player, another defensive player in. Who do we have? Illimans, Giroud, nothing really. So if, instead of Gundogan, if I instead go and buy Regulon, he should be everything that we need. I don't know how much he is these days, but... There you go, 2k. That should be everything we need. Oh, it's only 77? 78. What do we have? Oh, what do they have? Yeah, Gunda one. Literally, no. Yes, there. Boom. Oh, man, that took ages. <laughs> that took ages. Right. So we can't open that yet either because we've still got Gabriel Paulista and Willian Jose. Let's actually go and build the two player upgrade pack for those, or the 81 plus player pick pack, beg your pardon, for Willian Jose and Gabriel Paulista because. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because. Because, because, um, one, two, three, because we might get a big 84, 85 or something out of that player pick. And uh, let's go gold rare. So we need, we need Gabriel Paulista. We need, or we can put in him, we can put in him. We need William Jose. And that is those two players taken care of, man. All this, we started off by packing an, an, an all black walkout. And we've ended up crafting an Icon SPC. How crazy is that? Assuming that we actually can craft. Oh, nice. And that's why we saved them. A big 86 David De Gea to go into the 85 rated squad. That is very, very nice. Um, and uh, let's, uh, let's finish it off. This is going to be yet another Icon on the account. Can we finally get one of the monster Icons? It's only 50 chemistry and it's only 85 rated, right? Which is, of course, nice. Now, what I'm going to do first of all is go with gold and pop in, I mean, 85s, 84s, and 83s. Uh, and then I also want to go to, I also want to go to Champions League rares because I have got a lot of high rated Champions League rares. For example, that David De Gea, the Akadi, the Koke, the Sule we've already put in, of course. Um, so let's pop the 82s in. Let's go ahead and get back to some golds. We'll pop in Fabinho just in case we need him. But I don't think we should. I think, we sh I, I think we're at the 85 rated squad without him because of the 86 Verratti. I didn't even put in another player. Missed, missed a player completely. So we're actually only on an 84 rated squad. That's an 85. Can we bring him down? No. 85 over an 80. Let's put the 85 over the 82. 83 over an 82. And 83 over an 82. Now, maybe an 83 over an 85. There we go. Very nice indeed. 85 over an 86. No. Um, but 82 over an 83. Yes. All right. And then I'll put Rafa back in there. And we'll test Thovan for an 83 as well. No, that doesn't work. So this is it. As long as we can get the chemistry here, which uh, we really should be able to. Because we have got quite a good, uh, good set of links here, actually. Got the Brazilian over there. We've got Castiles in there. Um, let's swap these two around here. In fact, let's put Rafa at left back and Vertonghen in at centre back. And swap these two over here. That's 51. There you go. Boom. That is an icon pack done, guys. How about that? Knowing my luck, now at six o'clock today, and we will wait for six o'clock to close out the um to close out the video, but knowing my luck, guys, at 6 p.m. today, EA will release an insane SBC that I'll desperately want that I would have just used basically all my fodder for in this Icon SBC. So we've got to hope that it's going to, be, going to have been worth it. We're only on 80k coins still. You know, the coin balance has been fluctuating heavily between sort of like 10 or 15k and 100k. It would, it would, it would serve me well to kind of like um, just focus on boosting coins right now. But the opportunity of the League SBCs is just too nice to turn down. You know, we've got a chance of packing the good cards. We don't need to improve our team by way of coins anyway. That's tradable boards. That's really nice. Come on, be a big 85. Big 85. 83 Lacazette. We'll just send those up to the trade path for now. Um, 
yeah, you know, we're, 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 we're still like building our club up very, very handsomely. So we don't mind that at all. Uh, come on, West Brom Silver, 18k in the bag. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Not quite. Send these up there. Discarded, discarded, discarded. This will sell. This will sell. Discarded, this will sell. And this will sell. And let us see. Oh, he probably sold for a bit more, actually, the goalkeeper. Let us see, guys, to end, well, basically to end off today's video. I will be back for the 6 p.m. content. If there's anything good, if not, I'll just be back with like five player pick upgrade packs. But a base or mid icon pack. Come on, EA. Hook us up, baby. Don't hook us down. Give me something massive. Give me something massive. What do we got? Mexican. Striker. It's not going to be massive. It's actually going to be a player that I really don't care all that much about. It is Hernandez. And uh, I can safely say I will never use him. He's 420k on the market. Four-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. I mean, he's not bad, you know. He's got good pace. He's got very good shooting. He's got nice dribbling. And uh, the stamina is okay. He's just not what we want. You know, he really just is not what we want. Um, so I'll be back, guys, for the 6 p.m. content. Well, guys, I just got my first uh, Future Stars on a Road to Glory. I opened the thing by accident. I was just... Uh, I just filled up the trade pile. I built the five waiting for 6 p.m. It's currently only 20 past five. Um, I clicked A on it, or X, sorry, X on it or by accident, and there pops Dest. You can't, I mean, you can't fault that. I don't need another right back, but he's cool, man. He's quality. So I'm really, really happy with that. High, low work rates, four star, four star. Uh, 97 stamina is nice. It's, it is another brilliant right back. And do you know what? He does work with my team, doesn't he? Because I can link him to Luis Suarez. Not that they get the strong link these days. But yeah, this desk card, his passing is real nice. His dribbling is very good. His defending is very good. I don't know what he's worth, but might as well open these five packs. Now, as, as you can see, look, I've got 98 items on the trade pile now. I've got two that I haven't sold, and I just went and listed up a lot of my um, tradable golds that I had chilling in the club. All of those silvers that we'd got as well. There's a Cadiz silver in there as well. Uh, I don't know how much he's selling for. Um, but there you go. Look at all this. I just listed up all of these uh, golds just out of the club to try and get my coin balance up. Um, and yeah, I accidentally clicked on that, the, the player pick pack and there he is. So what is he worth? Oh my days. He's worth 350 K. I thought it would be like a hundred K or something. And, and so, as I say, I might as well finish off the five of these now. Oh my God, Luka Modric, let's go. Now we're putting the fodder back into the club. You love to see it. Really? Not quite what you love to see. Come on. Nope, none of that's good. No, I mean, it's all duplicates, untradables as well. And then last but not least, take a Renato Augusto. That is fantastic. Now, Modric is obviously very good for fodder. It's a nice, like, 35k card. Uh, Dest is brilliant. i, I got to go and have a look at what we can do with him in the club. Who, who have I put? Oh, I've got the goalkeeper out, haven't I? Um... Put the other Oblak back in. I do need to put the glove chem style back on him as well. I can't believe that I've got yet another insane defender in the club now. It genuinely blows my mind. Like, blows my mind. I'm, I, ooh. I could go Diego Carlos and Dest and Suarez. I don't even, I don't even know, guys. I don't even know what I'd want. I mean, look how good this card is. Compared to Cancelo, that just blows him out of the water. 11 more physical, 4 more defending, 2 more dribbling, 1 more passing, 2 less shooting, 6 more pace, 4 star, 4 star. I mean, Ronaldo loses chemistry by putting Dest in. But do I care? could get Dest on full chem if I put Petit in at CDM. And then I'd have to do that to get everybody else on just some soft chem. That would get Bruno on 8, De Bruyne on 8, Rooney on 8, Dest on 10, Petit on 10, Ronaldo on 8. How is Dest compared to Tav? He has got one more pace, 
six more defending and two more dribbling one less passing loads less shooting not that that's super relevant and five less physical but Dest has a four star four star that's unreal guys that is unreal um it, and and if if i actually went with suarez back in the team instead do you know what i could do i could put dybala in the team i could put dybala in instead of bruno fernandez and then have that doesn't work does it can't do that i would have to keep bruno fernandez in the team or we could put suarez into the team over bruno fernandez but suarez down in that dm role there he would he wouldn't get the full chemistry now either um but des would and then we'd have to do that and that would get everybody on eight chemistry again and the goalkeeper the same. Not quite sure. Probably don't want that. Not with the Suarez like that. It's a shame because we 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 can now look at putting Diego Carlos into the team again. Um, there, there's there's like options again now. That I I, I think we're just going to go back to the way the team was. Like this. Got Ronaldo back in that DM role, and play them both off Chem, except for the fact. That I might actually play Dybala there instead. Ronaldo on full chem, Dybala on full chem, De Bruyne and Rooney on eight. And then we're in the 4 1 2 1 2. We'll have Petit at obviously CDM, De Bruyne and Rooney at centre mid, Dybala at cam. And then in the 5 3 2, we'll have uh, Dybala, Rooney, and De Bruyne in midfield, Ronaldo and Lewandowski up front. And that would mean putting Bruno Fernandez on the bench. Juarez on the bench. Jao Cancelo on the bench. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, guys. But that is going to be... We'll figure it out. But that is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. For now, guys, I'm out. Peace.